if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I had kids, two of them. I have a baby and a toddler. And when the toddler was about one, he started to walk. It's a fairly normal age for kids to start to walk. And everyone was like, oh my God, he's so clever. Look at him, he's so clever. And I'm like, no, he's not, he's walking. Lots of people walk, lots of people don't walk. Just walking does not make you clever. In fact, you're not clever. Sorry, I'm sorry if that upsets you, um, but I don't believe Clever exists. Labelling people as clever, or believing you're clever, or going, she's so clever, he's so clever, I wish I was that clever, it's just a label, and labels are really bad. It's like saying, um, like, you know, walking, or being left-handed, or like being short-sighted or long-sighted. If you say you are this, you can't change it. You know, you can't change being left-handed. You can't change being short-sighted. You can't change not being able to walk. These are fixed things about you that you can't change. And labeling someone as clever kind of makes it a fixed thing that you can't change. And so I want us to stop doing that. I want us to stop using that word altogether. I do not want you to say, oh, that person's really clever, or you to think that I'm really clever, or even worse, to think that you're not clever. Because it's not a good word. If you want to do well in exams, fantastic. That is one of the most important things, one of the most, well, one of the best things to determine whether you are going to do well in exams or not, whether you're determined to, whether you want to. Because drive and motivation are some of the most important determinants in how well you do in your exams. If you want to do well, if you are willing to put the work in, the effort in, the time in, if you're willing to sacrifice maybe going out with your friends, if you're willing to sacrifice watching that little bit of TV, not saying sacrifice your whole social life because it's important that you have one, but maybe coming up to exams you can't go out as much. If you're willing to sacrifice that sort of thing, if you're willing to put the hard work in, if you're willing to do the grind, if you're willing to sit there with something that you don't understand, kind of feels like you're bashing your head against a brick wall, and to keep trying and trying and trying and trying until you get it. That's the sort of thing that's gonna determine how well you do an exam. Not a label that somebody has given you, or a label that you've given yourself, or somebody has imposed upon you. That is not gonna do it. It's whether you have the determination and the hard work in you. These kind of labels are really damaging in school. They've done loads and loads of research on it, where they tell people like one group of kids that they're clever and another group of kids that they're, they're sort of hard working. So clever kids and hard working kids. And then they tell them, you know, they've got a range of tasks. People that are labeled as clever tend to go for the tasks that aren't that hard because they know they can do well in them. They know they're going to get praised for being clever and if they do well in a task they're going to get praised. Whereas people who get praised for being hard working tend to pick the harder tasks and harder tasks end up in higher grades. So you need to shift your mindset away from this fixed, I'm clever, I'm not clever, I'm a B student, I'm a C student towards I'm really, really hard working, I'm really, really determined, and I can do this. I can do this. That's one of the most important things I want you to be able to say to yourself. I can do this. And with determination, hard work, putting that effort in, then you can do it. I believe you can do it. And there are so, so many barriers to whether you can do it or not. So like, the teachers that you have in school, the environment that you have at home, so many things working to stop you doing it. But you are the sole person in charge of your destiny. If you want it bad enough, work hard at it hard enough, then you are gonna have a really, really good shot at getting those good grades. So I'm gonna do as much as I can to help you guys make as many videos as I can to help you practice, help you study, um, so that you can get you those really, really good grades. But you have to remember, just sitting there passively watching the videos aren't gonna be enough. You have to do the questions. You have to do more questions. You have to go and find other videos and watch them. Doing as much work as you can whilst you're maintaining your sanity and your life, um, social life, is really, really important. So, um, good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way, um, we're going to do this together. <laughs>